Before we get to weather, I just want to quickly uh, wish my wife a happy anniversary. That's right. 20 years ago happy today, we, we tied the knot. So, yeah, I remember I'm, that. I'm a very lucky man. Oh, That's right. Happy you anniversary to you both. It was a great wedding. Yes, absolutely. He caught the garter. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. It was right there yeah. on the bay. You know, oh, it was a, man. a beautiful uh, wedding. And yeah. congratulations. And uh, thanks. Uh, yeah. Good job. Gilda, great girl. Yes. Uh, yes she, she is, is so lovely, yeah. as well as your daughter. Yeah, we're, we're very fortunate. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So. Uh, a lot of a uh, lot a lot of jellyfish in the water today. Oh really? Yeah, um, I would say, I guess millions. Oh, wow. many. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. They're small. They're long. Oh. The tentacles are all over the place, and we'll talk more about that obviously in the fishing segment coming up tomorrow. But uh, look out if you're going out in the waters, especially in the bay. That's where they were heaviest. Casey Key webcam showing nice weather out there right now. Beautiful throughout the day today. Seas are pretty calm. Calm conditions on an east wind and. Just a few clouds and a few isolated, very isolated showers with the Casey Key webcam there. And the uh, picture that you see here a little bit ago uh, showing a shower well offshore, pushing away from the coastline. Raymond getting that one from Lido Beach and Titan Radar picture showing a little bit more rainfall down to our south now. But that's going to be uh, staying there throughout the day tomorrow. So it should be another nice day with a few brief sprinkles late in the afternoon and evening. Uh, not much, uh, not much accumulation anticipated as the storms are working uh, basically on an east wind, so they're moving off toward the west, and uh, the heavier showers down to our south, and even those aren't that heavy at this time, but the moisture availability will increase uh, throughout the day on Friday. You can see we have one lone shower making its way through uh, parts of Longboat Key out into the Gulf, and uh, right now looks like a nice sunset setting up, 85 degrees. A few clouds around, dew point at 70, winds are out of the northeast at 6, the pressure 29.94 inches. The high today was 91 degrees. And that was well above the average of 86 and 94. The record set in 2009. This morning's low was 73. And no rainfall reported at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport for the month now. We're stuck at eight hundredths of an inch of rainfall. The hourly forecast for Thursday, pretty much like we saw today, upper 80s to near 90 degrees for high temperatures. We'll have partly cloudy skies. The rain chance less than 20 percent. So not much of a chance for a few brief showers late in the afternoon. Future cast will depict that from the forecast model tonight. Showers winding down. Then tomorrow, down to our south, we're starting to see a little bit more activity on Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening, but not much for us. By Friday, you start to see it encroach to the north now as that stream of moisture moves in behind a trough of low pressure that's heading off into the Gulf, and that will give us a better chance for some scattered showers and storms uh, persisting through the weekend. And you can see this long plume of moisture here extending all the way over to the Bahamas with this upper level low. Now we're going to see this moisture kind of pinwheel into our direction as that will be in place on Friday. Well, here it is, the 10th hurricane, a consecutive hurricane of the 2017 season. Ophelia is uh, now at 75 mile hour winds, kick it as high as 80 to 85 over the upcoming two days. And look at this, it's going to move off to the northeast and then eventually to the north, right toward Ireland. And it's known as a cyclone bomb. It's going to be up to 70 mile hour winds as it heads into, it looks like, uh, Ireland in about uh, four or five days from now. So it's going to be a dangerous storm. It'll be moving rapidly, too, into that direction. You see an area of low pressure now moving to the northeast. Uh, this is going to continue to work its way off toward the northern New England states. That frontal boundary is all the way down now south, but it's going to um, pull up stationary and eventually fade away right to the north of us, so it's not going to move on through. For boaters, tomorrow looks like this. Light chop out there. Sees uh, basically running two feet or less. Sunset at 7.05, sunrise will be at 7.29. Tonight, mostly fair, isolated sprinkle, pretty much over 73 for a low. Tomorrow, 89 for your high, and a 20% chance for a late day shower. And then the rain chance is increasing right through the weekend at 50% with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies.